In today's video, we're going to be painting up Tyrion Lannister from the Song of Ice and Fire miniature game to celebrate Game of Thrones Season 8. So, like all the miniatures that we're using here on our series of painting up the Song of Ice and Fire miniatures, we want to make sure that we base coat it with a primer. So I've just used a black primer here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come in with our Necromancer Cloak and we're going to be using this to paint up Tyrion's boots. Um, now, Necromancer Cloak is not a pure black. It's sort of a, a very dark grey leaning towards black. Which is, I quite like it for uh, boot colours or uh, dark uh, underclothes, stuff like that. But just being nice and careful here, painting up those boots. Then once we've painted up the boots, we're going to move on to our biggest step, which is going to be using our Vampire Red to be giving all of his clothing the red base coat. Now, because I've done this in a black primer, as it was the only primer I could find on me uh, just on hand, uh, it's going to take a lot of uh, building up layers. So what I've done is I've actually thinned down the paint with just a little bit of water, uh, sort of a roughly 50-50 mix and I'm applying this on uh, reasonably gently just getting all over the miniature and now as you can see it doesn't look like I'm covering the whole miniature perfectly but that's okay because what we want to do is we want to place down that first layer and then wait for that to fully dry and then we want to go back over it with another layer which will improve it again and then again and again slowly working up those layers um, if you want to speed this step up unlike me you might want to use um, a lighter primer such as a gray or a white but as I couldn't find my gray or white primer I had to go with a black and just slowly building it up but it does give a nice finish building up all those layers of paint just very thinly if you're doing this because you don't want to uh, clog up the miniature and lose detail by having uh, full strength paint on it in that much layer so slowly building it up over time it's a slow process but it does still pay off in the end and I just put a quick note in here while I was painting this up I also painted up the face here while I was waiting for some of the layers of the um, red to dry uh, using our vampire red but I actually lost the footage of me painting up Tyrion's uh, skin but all I did for that was I painted it up using uh, some Barbarian Flesh by Army Painter and using a very similar process which is mixing it with water and slowly building those layers up since having the black primer uh, is quite dark and you want to leave as nice a finish as you can on it, not letting that black show through. But then, once you have all of that done, we're going to be moving on to Skeleton Bone and we're going to be using that to paint Tyrion's hair. Now, it seems like a strange colour, but I feel like uh, this added on with a, a flesh tone wash actually gives off a very uh, good looking uh, blonde coloured hair, as the Lannisters are known for their blonde hair. Uh, it may sound strange, but it was the best combination that I could I see to come up with with a blonde hair without going completely yellow because I think yellow and then placing a wash over it doesn't give it a sort of authentic blonde uh, hair color look and I just feel that this with a few highlights that we'll do later on uh, gives off quite a nice uh, blonde hair color than just going straight over it with yellow and there we go there's our base color placed down on our hair now you can see it actually looks a little bit like uh, quite light blonde here, but now we're going to be moving on to our details now using a smaller brush and I'm going to start off with uh, Dirt Spatter here, which we're going to be using for Tyrion's belt around him. So just grabbing our fine detail brush, placing some on and just carefully applying it now because we don't want to go back all those uh, layers of red, but if you do hit it, it's okay, don't worry too much about it, just come back with our vampire red that we already have and just 
clean it up just as much as you can and trying it to your, the best of your abilities but always good to keep a steady hand so you see here I'm bracing one of my hands on my other hand to try and keep my hand as steady as possible while doing these fine techniques and now that we've done that with his uh, leather belt we're going to be moving on to even harder techniques using our greedy gold here and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going over all the trim of uh, Tyrion Lannister's clothing and just placing a small line similar to how we did with our Lannister guardsmen uh, all over the, the clothing of Tyrion Lannister trying to uh, give it a nice gold edge that uh, the Lannisters are known for having. So doing this we're using a very small detail brush again and I'm just carefully trying to draw and follow the lines that are on the edge of these um, miniatures and um, they do a pretty good job of actually sort of raising up uh, the edges making it a little bit easier to paint which is very helpful but just keeping a steady hand again like I said before with doing our uh, leather work which is um, just bracing one of my hands on the other one while also holding my uh, elbows on the table trying to keep a strong uh, uh, grip on everything um, to bracing myself so I can keep those lines as straight as I possibly can and on some of the longer bits I'm sort of more catching it with the edge of my brush rather than the complete tip which I find can give off a better uh, line working while doing some detail but if you do uh, find that it's a little bit too wide or you could even go the opposite direction which is paint on quite wide with your brush and then come back with your red just whatever you prefer but for me I'm sort of still practicing fine detail work so I want to try and be as neat as I can here um, so I don't have to clean up as much and save on some of that uh, going back over with the paint again time than I usually would and then once you've done that don't forget to do his uh, goblet that he uh, has on his hand just giving that a nice quick pass over with our gold as well which will be quite an easy detail to miss so best way I'm doing is I'm just going to cover the whole thing pretty uh, evenly as well as he has a little bit of the goblet uh, just underneath the bottom of his hand so don't forget to do that as well when you're doing the gold trim to save uh, time on painting the miniature then once we have all that gold trim complete you can see it looks really nice and uh, really gives off a lot of uh, detail to a reasonably plain uh, miniature with its color scheme and it's quite a interesting new challenge for me but now I'm going to be moving on with uh, some serif from sepia and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be painting that over our skeleton bone which is our uh, blonde hair to uh, give it that more uh, natural blonde hair color tone by just uh, diluting it down and adding sort of um, that sepia color in which is sort of like nearly a skin color so adding that together actually brings out a lot nicer blonde color than just painting on either straight yellow I also did some tests before where I painted white with serif from sepia on it as well which gave not a bad blonde look um, but I felt like it was a little too light I was leaning more towards uh, white hair than uh, re reading as blonde hair so that's where I came up with using the skeleton bone and then going over it with serif from sepia then once that's dried and complete we're going to be moving on with our flesh wash hair by army painter and we're going to be using that to uh, paint Terry and skin it's all over his body and you can see as well that that uh, hair color is looking quite strong now but once we go over with the highlights it gives a nice uh, undercolor blonde effect but moving on with our uh, flesh wash hair we just want to place some on the miniature let it all get into those recesses now I'm doing my usual technique here which is uh, having a reasonable amount on my brush placing it down on then moving it around rather than streaking it but then once that's placed on there and starts drying I then come back in with my brush and just start dabbing at the places where it's pulling too much in the recesses which uh, sucks up immediately all that wash and just leaves the tone on there 
uh, better than just leaving it all to dry with big splotches. And then once that flesh wash is dried, we're going to be moving on here with our Strong Tone by Army Painter. And we're going to be using our Strong Tone to cover the rest of uh, Tyrion's uh, clothing now. And again, same technique, a lot of uh, wash on my brush, placing it on and then moving it around all over the place. Uh, pretty quickly trying to avoid a lot of streaking and um, leaving lots of big brush strokes and uh, just placing it on, letting it dry slowly, then soaking it up with uh, the brush later gives off a lot better effect than um, brushing it straight on like I usually do. It's just the new thing that I've uh, found to be quite useful. But again, just trying to get in all, between all those creases and uh, folds in the clothing, trying to really make them pop. And now we'll be coming back with our skeleton bone here after all that wash is dried. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, placing it on uh, Tyrion's hair and just carefully placing uh, brush strokes on here. Now as you can see I'm doing it uh, quite broad and not very um, sort of delicate here because what I'm going to be doing is just a different quick technique I've done for uh, highlighting stuff on which is placing down a few brush strokes and then going over it with your uh, finger to pull off a lot of that paint and it'll just keep it in the um, on certain areas and it gives off quite a quick and uh, realistic hair look so just quickly doing that it's just a nice technique to get a fast hair done like this when you don't have time to sit there for a very long time and paint each individual strand of hair so this is just my quick way of giving off a reasonably varied uh, realistic looking hair quickly okay so now with all that hair done what we're going to be doing is we're going to be coming back with our vampire red and what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be placing uh, a couple of dabs onto Tyrion's uh, wine glasses goblet his golden goblet that we've painted up just to give it the realistic look like there is actually some wine in here because we're, what would Tyrion be without wine in his cup and then once the paint is dried on Tyrion's wine glass we're gonna be coming back with our barbarian flesh here and what we're gonna be doing is placing just a little bit on a small detail brush and we're just carefully gonna be going over some of the high points on Tyrion's face like uh, the top of his uh, nose here uh, across along his eyebrow uh, just on the bottom of his chin just very lightly I'm, I'm more dragging it with the uh, just the side of the brush rather than the complete tip just carefully getting just a little bit of paint on there just to make it look like uh, highlights uh, on there so it's like the sun's coming down and catching it in the highest points it also gives off a lot of detail when you haven't added in um, eyes or anything like that and then once you've completed all that and the paint's dried you just want to come back with uh, matte black or whatever you want to use to paint your army in and just paint the base. So I'm just going with a nice quick black paint scheme here because I'll be doing an episode uh, later on just on basing where I will show uh, stuff like that but for now I just want to keep it nice and simple. And then with that, we have completed painting up Tyrion Lannister from the Song of Ice and Fire miniatures game. And you see, with all that gold trimming on there, it's really brought out the detail as well as our, our quick and easy varied hair technique. And just painting up the little details like the wine in the cup to just add in a lot of detail like we have also with our little highlights. And it's given off a really nice effect. But with that guys, I'd like to thank you and joining me with celebrating the Game of Thrones season, and I'll see you in the next video.